Western New York bragging rights are on the line in Las Vegas tonight when upcomer Nate Bernard takes a step up to face off with the streaky heavyweight contender, Dwayne the Iron Giant Crespo. Standing across from me is definitely different. I have the scariest windup in the league. Everyone who faces me, you can see it in their eyes. They don't want to be there. If you've never been hit before, you don't know what it feels like. You can't mimic it at home. I've been doing it for a while now, and I've been dominating, and I'm not one-dimensional. I'm not just knocking people out. I can win decisions. I can win long fights. This is my sport right now. I'm on top. I believe I should be fighting the title right now, but I have to prove myself one more time. I want to show the world that it's my time. It's my time to get my rematch back with the bell, to get the championship. If I'm on my game, Nate doesn't have a chance. The last 16 years I've grown up in Buffalo. Being here, it's truly a city of grit. It's a humbling thing to know that I have the opportunity to put the city on my back and be able to represent Buffalo well. My first fight was Stevie Ray Payne. It was exciting. I went and exactly did what I was supposed to do. I came to Vegas and it was a manifestation. I was able to put Stevie Ray Payne down and I'm able to do the same with Crespo. You can have all the techniques in the world, but if you don't have a knack for wanting to put him down, the person that's standing across from you, then this ain't the right thing for you. I'm here to win. Plain and simple, I'm here to win. I'm not here for any other gimmicks. I'm not Two. backing down. That's the goal, that's the end game, to be the best in the world, to evolve a sport. This is my time, this is where I belong. Give me my title shot, let me go win it. I'm a big believer in everything happens for a reason. After I finish Crespo off, title shot's next. It don't matter who you are, anybody can get it. Nate Bernard, the Buffalo Soldier, with an absolutely crushing first round knockout in his first fight. But this is his first fight under these circumstances. His first one was on the UFC 290 weigh-in show. So this is the first time under the lights, making the walk with the crowd. And he has been studying his opponent Dwayne Crespo, just like he used to study football tape as a former college football player. Yeah, that's right. He seems to know everything about Dwayne Crespo, knows all of his patterns, when he's going to strike, what speed he's going to use. So he said, yeah, when I used to study football, I did the same thing, and he's been watching everything on his opponent. Now, as you say, he was in the UFC 290 Wayne show, and he maximized that opportunity, knocking out Stevie Payne in round one with a ridiculous shot and he's so happy to be here he's very very excited it was his father that actually put him up for this very close with him uh, the buffalo bills players they're also very excited Dion dawkins one of the players sent him a video message saying congratulations for repping the city of buffalo so a big prospect big power and a very very nice humble young man i'm really excited for this matchup the security guard for the Buffalo Bills. And you mentioned his dad. His father is the video director for the Green Bay Packers. And he said it was dad who put him up to this. Nate Bernard trying to follow up on one of the most impressive debuts that we have ever seen in Power Slap. Dwayne Crespo Jr., AKA the Iron Giant, it's his fourth fight this year, along with A.J. Hintz. They're the only two fighters on the roster to be on every single card. We talked about that last fight that he had with Dorian Perez. It was entertaining. It was bloody. Both guys got roughed up. High level. He said he wanted to be tested, and tested he was, escaping with a win against Perez. Yeah, and you know, coming into this, he actually worked with Nate Bernard a little bit, gave him some tips, and he said, listen, he has talent. He has the size and the build that makes you excited, but Nate Bernard only swings with his arms. He says he has no practice, and he has no idea how to recover. 
He's he, talking about Bernard. He said, listen, he hasn't got the experience. There's a lot that he doesn't know about this or his own swing. He's very powerful, but I'm the veteran and he's the phenom. And by the way, he's got a chip on his shoulder. He said that Nate Bernard is being hyped. He's got massive exposure on the Wayne show. He said, that's great. He said, but they're hyping him up and trying to use me as a stepping stone. So he's, he's a little pissed off with the situation. That's how he's perceiving it. I don't think it's that case at all. But listen, he is right. Nate Bernard is a big man, but Dwayne Crespo has been here many, many times. He's had tremendous success. And both men can pack a slap. That's for damn sure. Oh, there's no doubt about it. He feels like the only way that Bernard can win is by KO. If he can make it through this first round, Dwayne Crespo believes he can win a decision, no doubt about it, because this is the deal. We've seen this before with guys in their debuts, a uh, 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 Cole Young, among others who have had first round knockouts and never received a slap. Don't forget, Nate Bernard has never received a real slap on this stage. Tonight will be the night, unless somehow he can get a first round knockout. As we take a look at the tail of the tape brought to you by Power Slap Mobile, download the Power Slap Mobile game in the Apple App Store or Google Play today. Dwayne Crespo, the older man by four years, a three inch height advantage for Nate Bernard, a two inch reach advantage as well. Bernard in his second power slap match, a minus 160 favorite as we send it to our power slap announcer, Justin Bernard. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the call main event of the evening. Set for three rounds in the Power Slap Heavyweight Division and presented by Happy Dad Hard Seltzer. No more skinny cans. Introducing first, in the blue corner, he stands six feet, five inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Out of Buffalo, New York, he is the number four ranked heavyweight contender in the world. Nate, the Buffalo Soldier, Bernard! And now, in the red corner, he stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Out of Rochester, New York, he is the number one ranked heavyweight contender in the world. Dwayne, the Iron Giant, And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Mark Smith. Winner of the coin toss and striking first, Nate Bernard. Rumble, bold and free. Download the Rumble app or visit rumble.com today. All right, here we go. Nate Bernard stepping to the power slap table with a crowd for the first time trying to follow up on that impressive debut it was a first round ko then can he get a first round ko now i mean there's a very good chance six foot five 265 pounds lifelong athlete extremely powerful humble hard working and he gets the slap first and look at the wind up come on let's go Sounded like a gunshot. I tell you what, though, Dwayne Crespo, that man has a chin. Because that was a really powerful blow. Didn't hardly flinch. And now we'll find out the million dollar question. Yeah. And Bernard take a shot. He said he had some of his buddies slap him before his first match hard. He said he got a mouthpiece, he put it in, he told him to hit him as hard as he can. And he weathered the storm. Let's see if he can weather the Iron Giant. So, we know he can give it. But the question is, can he take it? Here we go. There's the measure from the Iron Giant. Look at the face on Bernard. One. That's fast. Two. Here we go. Okay. A little good. blood in the mouth. Good slap. That's good. Two good slaps in the first round from the big fellas. I think we got a real match in our hands, guys. I think we do. Good. 
Both men answered the call here in the first round. This is a tough one. Who, who do you give it to? I don't know. Now, I mean, both men landed with really good technique. A little slide. slide. A little bit. A massive impact from both men. They both took it pretty well as well. That's really a hard nice round measure. to score. Well, and I think for Bernard, it, it's a massive, massive relief to take that first shot. Now he can unload. Exactly, as you say. Oh! Big one. Good slash. It looked like it. That's a good slash. Crespo. Crespo. He's a little bit like an NBA player. Like, they always want, oh, he fouled me, fouled me. Oh, you mean a soccer player? Yeah, yeah, well, a soccer player, yeah, too. First. Yep. That, that is true. Don't do it, bud. Don't do it. I don't, I think that was a clean strike. Let's take another one. That looked clean to me. I mean, I agree. I'm lean on it. It was the same thing with Perez. They were both going back and forth with fouls. I'll tell you what, both these guys have unbelievable chips. Let's I mean, see if Bernard can hold up a second time. I'm sure it felt right like a club going three. because Nate Bernard slapping you in the face. I don't care what party hits you with on Connecticut. It's not going to feel good. All right, revenge for Dwayne the Iron Giant Crespo. Trains full time for slap fighting. Background in MMA. Here we go. Two. Okay. He's okay. A little shake. Wiggles those traps around a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Like plumbing out again. What's up? Are you all right? Yeah, Are you all right? Is that, well, I just got my face slapped off. I've had better days. So what we do now? He took it really well, though. I mean, the question was, can he take it? We've seen now he clearly can, which I'm not surprised about. Look at the size of the neck and the jaw on the man and the traps. I mean, he's just yep, yep. He's biting down on that mouthpiece and taking it. Must measure, yep. Right hand on three. First slap around three That's coming from the former it. college football player, Nate Bernard. According to your scorecard, he's up by two. Here we go. But not by much, but... Oh! oh, my. He's already saying it's a club, but I don't know about that. How does he survive that? Just being... He's, he's a little bit. Time. 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 I don't understand the time. Count the man out. I can't believe he's still standing. Feet were good, Mark. Feet were good. That would have starched 99% of human beings in the world. And the doctor's taking a good look at him. No, he's not off balance. He's saying he's off balance. They're arguing. No, no, no. no, no, no. They call it. The doctor said that he was not balanced, wasn't standing correctly. Up, the Wolverine, his coach, instantly started arguing and saying, no, he's not. He's not off balance. Wow. Wayne Crespo, very upset. And I understand why. I mean, he took the shot, he stayed on the feet, and then a doctor steps in and undermines all of his hard work. Tonight's Monster Knockouts brought to you by Monster Energy Unleash the Beast. Here's another look. I can't believe he was still standing after this. Well, but that's the thing. He was standing, all right? There was a bit of assistance from a catcher. The referee was given a count. He was able to balance himself to use the word that the doctor used. I mean, the, the, the catcher stepped in a little bit there. A little bit. But then... Then he wisely got back to the table as soon as he could. But Nate Bernard, so much power. Yeah, ridiculous power. I mean, he's definitely an exciting prospect. 2-0 and now inside Power Slap. going to do big things. But Dwayne Crespo, not happy. And i got to say, I don't blame him. I get it. I totally understand. Now for the official decision presented by Kudo Protein Popcorn. Head to kudosnacks.com now and enter the promo code SLAP for 25% off your order. Justin Bernard, our power slap announcer, set to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Smith calls a stop to the match in round number three, declaring the winner by TKO, Nate, the Buffalo Soldier. Big show of respect there. I mean, that's nice when they've just 
you know, try to do as much damage as they possibly can within the rules, of course. And then when it's all said and done, hugs and embraces, nothing but respect. Nate Bernard improves to 2-0 and in Power Slap. And two very impressive performances for the Buffalo Soldier Power Slap. Power Slap 4, Hints versus Turpin is presented by Monster Energy Unleash the Beast. Puts the glasses on, says he wears contacts or glasses. You can't wear contacts out there, so he's, he feels blind as a yeah. bat. Certainly didn't hinder their performance out there today. Hey, I mean, maybe he can't see the blows coming either. You know what I mean? So maybe it helps him, but big smile on the face, big celebration, a little bit of blood, but so much just par for the course. Well done. Nate Bernard, a solid addition to the heavyweight division. Solid addition. He's going to be fighting for a title. Oh, yeah. Coming up in later this year. His dad, the video director for the Green Bay Packers, no doubt watching on Rumpel. And there's Deion Dawkins, the lineman for the Buffalo Bills, weighing in. Let's send it to Charlie Arnold with Bernard. Dan, thank you. Nate Bernard, the winner. A perfect 2-0 so far in your power slap career. A second very impressive performance. How would you evaluate what you were just able to accomplish out there? I say um, it's a test and a testament of what I've been saying. It's either you got it or you don't. And I'll be honest, I, mean, I couldn't have gone against anybody better to test my chin out than Crespo. And, I, you know, I'm humble for that opportunity. I'm grateful to be here. And, you know, shout out 716, Buffalo, we did it, baby. And that's the thing, Dwayne Crespo delivers a really hard slap. How was it absorbing your first slap from someone in power slap, not just your friends at home? I'd be lying if I said, uh, you know, the nerves weren't kicking in. And when he said his wind up was three, on that first one and second one, you know, it had me quaking, but I took it. And, you know, I'm happy, happy, you know, everything turned out the way it did. How's it feel knowing that you are more than likely going to be competing for the heavyweight championship in power slap? I'm still new to it, so it's, it's, it's surprising me, but, you know, it's uh, get ready. I mean, just get ready. Do it. Everybody, you know, tap in like how you've been to uh, Rumble and uh, watch, watch what's going to happen. It'll be fireworks. Well, you just got the Buffalo Bills off to a great start to their season, yeah. so I'm sure they'll be happy to see that. Congratulations to you, a great performance. Appreciate you, thank you so much. Guys, back to you. All right, Charlie, thank you. That post-fight interview brought to you by 10X World, 10X your business, 10X your income, 10X your life. Go to 10xworld.com.